Well, uh, Richard, it's lovely to have you on eCancer Television. And you've been talking here at ASCO about a new MEK inhibitor. Can you tell me what you've been doing, why you were interested in uveal cancer, and what you've been able to do for it? Because you, you seem to have made quite an impact. Yeah, so uveal melanoma um, has historically been a very difficult disease to treat. This is a disease that, although it arises from melanocytes just like cutaneous melanoma does, there's really been no effective therapy for this disease, unlike the case for cutaneous melanoma. It's biologically distinct. It responds differently to therapy. Um, what's been found in 2008 was that uh, these tumors are driven um, by early oncogenic events affecting something called GNAQ and GNA11. This leads to activation of the MAP kinase pathway. And is that where selumetinib comes in? Exactly. So selumetinib is a drug that actually turns off that MAP kinase pathway at the level of MEK. And so our hypothesis was that perhaps MEK inhibition in this disease, since it's driven by those mutations, would be an effective therapy. In keeping with targeted therapy, individualized therapy that we're hearing so much about now, what happened in your, what did you do in the study? And so what we did here is we randomized patients to either chemotherapy or the selumetinib drug. Um, and overall, what we saw is the drug more than doubled the progression-free survival for patients that we treated when compared to chemotherapy. We improved the response rate and, in fact, saw responses that are really not seen or have not been reported with other drugs or other combination therapies. And there was actually a trend towards improved survival despite the uh, crossover design of the trial. Right. This is quite a tough disease. So how much value were you getting in terms of quality of life improvement by getting that extension of PFS? Well, I think, you know, when patients develop disease progression here, um, oftentimes they have disease in the liver, uh, frequently in the bone, um, and these can be painful lesions, it can lead to fatigue, early satiety, and so forth. And so by delaying progression, we do provide clinical benefit um, to patients. In fact, you know, this is the first time we've ever found an agent that's able to do that. Where do you think this is going then? So right now, um, you know, uh, we are in the process of uh, developing a confirmatory trial uh, for, for regulatory purposes. What we'd like to do is uh, confirm what we found on this trial, and if so, get this drug commercially available for patients with uveal melanoma. Does it endorse the idea of MEK inhibition and perhaps for other cancers? Absolutely. So um, there are other cancers that are driven by mutations in these G-alpha proteins that affect the MAP kinase pathway as well as others. And so um, this concept very much may apply to other cancers as well. What should doctors be making of your particular discovery so far then? So I think what we have here for the first time ever is really a new um, standard, although the drug is not approved, but a new kind of standard uh, for patients uh, with uveal melanoma, it's a new benchmark that we can use to design next trials, the next generation of trials. Um, I think we still need to steer patients towards trials, uh, particularly those including a MEK inhibitor, um, and perhaps building upon the efficacy, efficacy that we've seen with new combination trials. Um, now, if patients um, do not have access to these trials, um, of course, trametinib was just approved recently, um, which is another MEK inhibitor. And although there has not been a great deal of experience of that drug in this disease, um, you know, that's something I think that we're going to have to uh, discuss within the community of, as far as whether we should consider treating patients with uveal melanoma with that drug. So your brief message to doctors right now? So right now, MEK inhibition, uh, first drug ever to show efficacy of any systemic therapy in this disease. Um, Further trials of MEK inhibition are in, in the planning process, and patients should be steered towards that. Um, and, you know, three, this is, this is, again, the first study that's ever been positive in this disease, so this offers a great deal of hope to the patients, most importantly, but also to those clinicians who are dealing with these patients for whom we had nothing to offer before. Richard, thank you for joining us on eCancer TV.